but then for you to actually make a comment about black people's hair really just goes to show the type of people that live in this world like the stupidity that came out of that person's mouth or typed out from his keyboard talking about black hair fool good morning everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl missus and i'm back with another video and today is gonna be a vlog me and my little brother are here with baby boy um, Missy is at nursery and my brother's been here um, for the last few days so I'm gonna try and get him at the house now because he's literally been cooped up in the house for the last few days um, so I look a bit um, greasy but it's the, it's the moisturizer that I'm using you know for my dry crusty skin you know but yeah so we actually on our way out I'm gonna take my brother to harvesters because he raves about harvesters breakfast I don't really like harvester as a whole are we ready to go okay we're ready to go so right so basically this whole breakfast thing was an absolute flop don't mind side size hair I tried to do little camo his hair but anyway so we went to one harvesters and I thought it was a bit weird because when I checked online it says that it was open at 11.30 but then it says that the breakfast finishes at 11.30 so we went there they basically said that they don't do breakfast only on the weekends so the guy sent us to another branch saying that yeah yeah they do breakfast during the week we got to the same or different branch and then they don't do breakfast only on the weekend what's the matter <laughs> okay, so food is ham. I'm very scared, I'm not gonna lie, because I never like how this is food. Quinton got wine in a bun, so that's like <laughs> beef burger, the bacon, burger sauce, and chocolate chip. I got mac and cheese, veg, sea bass. And it's meant to be drizzled with some lobster and prosecco sauce. And I don't know what kind of sauce that is, but and some mashed potato. I hate this lift, you know. Why is it going up? No, on the second floor. Yeah, so, but it's going up. Do you think that woman broke it? No, no wait. <laughs> okay, my brother enjoyed his burger more than I during my meal. So we're out here doing a little bit of shopping. I don't know why we're in here though. Wait, why are you looking at the design? Do you know what? Yeah, I actually really need to treat myself to a designer bag. This is nice. This is cute. That's cute and whatever. 120 pounds for that purse. Wow. Oh, I like these. 100 pounds. That's not too bad. But I don't think they will suit suit my feet though, because my feet are a little bit too broad. But they are nice. Right. Mine's in JD, get me. Mine's in JD, get me. Mine's in JD. What? What do I mean? I actually need some black trainers, I'm not gonna lie. I don't have no black trainers, which is just unacceptable. So, let's see if I can buy some black crap. Neither of them are red. You said you wanted red trainers. No, I said, do they make red air? I mean, I know, I'm, I'm not Air Max, I wouldn't know. I like this one more. What do you guys think? This one, or? And there's only 75 as well. No, yeah, I prefer this one, actually. Yeah. Yeah, money, though. Okay, so we're actually up next now. We're gonna try and look for some uh, wedding boots for Missy. Fun fact, do you guys know that I actually used to work in it? So, um, oh, he's away. Lift going down. Did you get scared? Yeah. Is she running me over I'm with a pam? 
So imagine we got stuck, would you start crying? Huh? Imagine we got stuck, would you start crying? Yeah, that's why I hate elevators. So it's a small next door, so they don't have what I'm looking for. So it's a waste of time. Can we, can we, can we go? Can we go? I don't want to be here anymore. I need to do my nail. My little brother literally had a panic attack because he thought he got stuck in the lift. He was like, I do it. I do it. We're stuck. I do it. <laughs> he got shook. <laughs> it was a fact that it, li <laughs> it literally felt like the lift wasn't moving. So I was barely like, wait a minute. And he's just like, I just knew it. I just knew it. <laughs> What? Okay, so we're in Asda again, as usual. And I was just on the phone to my mum and she was finishing work. And she said, oh, I'm going to come and see you. Thinking, oh, that's just such a cute thing. Are you eating your health? Maybe. What? Maybe. Maybe. What is wrong with the sky? There's something wrong with you. In your eyes. Your eyes. Ow. Hello, boy, yeah, boy. Oh my god. Okay, so guys, yeah, I actually forgot to tell you <laughs> that I've got my very first troll comment, right? <laughs> So, um, I posted on my main channel because I'm now back on my main channel, which is the Mrs. channel. And I posted a vlog and it was tied to something like, um, black people don't have nice hair. Because I experienced a slight prejudice or racial attack from a, from a patient that I bumped into at the GP. If you haven't seen the, seen the vlog, I will leave it in the description box below. But anyway, so obviously I was talking about how this woman basically said that my son has um, nice hair for a black boy. So then I got a troll comment, right? Um, which I just thought it was quite hilarious, to be fair. I was just like, first of all, I don't even know what the hell you're trying to say. And second of all, like, how dare you? Like, how dare you make a troll comment about something like that? Like, there's one thing of you, like, dissing me or saying that, I don't know, cussing me out or making, like, insults to me or whatever, or insult to my child or whatever, even though you better not even try it. And I, oh. But then for you to actually make a comment about black people's hair really just goes to show the type of people that live in this world. Like, because obviously I've moved my, um, or now I'm moving back onto my Mrs. channel, I've got a really, really nice comment from a subscriber. Um, I'm not going to say her name because I'm not too sure if she doesn't really want to be, you know, out there like that. But she said, hey Sid, I've been meaning to message you from time. But anyways, I just wanted to say how much I admire you as a mother. You do a fantastic job and you seem to keep smiling even through hard times. I really look forward to your YouTube videos. You give me jokes, um, laughing out loud emoji. Um, your children are adorbs. Little man melts my heart. I've been watching your YouTube videos since you've moved from your mum's house to your own place. And I saw your most recent video, so the video that I posted on my Sis Live channel to explain that I'm no longer going to be vlogging on that channel. So she said, I saw your most recent video. Does that mean that there's no more Sis Live? I mean, I don't mind makeup and thing, but I really do look forward to your videos about your everyday life. And I thought to myself, 
this is why I actually like doing what I'm doing because to me YouTube or whatever I don't see it as a career or a job I actually enjoy it I actually enjoy making videos editing it and just seeing people's response even though I know I'm gonna get backlash and comments or whatever and I do think that I'm quite thick-skinned anyway but like just that one comment from that one person and being such a small youtuber in this community just makes such a huge difference and it just literally overrides the stupidity that came out of that person's mouth or typed out from his keyboard talking about black hair full later I got my pop I got my pop I got my pop wait, wait I don't know how to do the lap wait yeah you're not doing the right oh, am I not? no I am no you're not no 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 You didn't even tighten up the... Oh, Savannah. No, no, you don't can't have my living room like this. This is unacceptable. I literally just got a very exciting parcel. So me and my brother was in the game shop here and when I was younger, I was an absolute fan of playing games. Game Boys, GameCube, Nintendo, PlayStation. All the consoles and the games that you could think of. The Wii, everything. I used to be a proper gamer, me and my older brother. So then when we was in game, my little brother was like, yeah, Mario Kart and the Switch and... So I thought, you know what? I actually really want to get a game now. So I've actually ordered a Nintendo Switch. To the Who does that? Tomorrow. Who does that? 28 years old, like me, you know? And I'm so excited about Nintendo Switch. It's the story of my life like Christmas. I am tired. You're a bit, you're a bit like trying to get in the shop. Are you right there? That is the Nintendo Switch light in grey. Oh, it is light. Oh. Mario Kart. You know, listen. Let me tell you something for free, yeah? I am a legend when it comes to Mario Kart. I, I'm telling you this. No one can ever... Okay. Hardly anyone can beat me at Mario Kart. Even the top gamers can't really beat me at Mario Kart. That, that is one game I could smash a man. What?